remember what the haters talking about. What's up, family? Yesterday, it was reported that 20-year-old Brooklyn rapper Pop Smoke was murdered in Hollywood Hills, California in a home invasion. As his friends, family, fans, and celebrities mourn his loss, his best friend, Mike D., who perhaps knew him best, is addressing allegations that he may have set Pop Smoke up. In an Instagram post, he stated, Can't nothing express the pain I'm feeling. I just lost my effing brother, my heart, my dogs. You guys have no type of sense or empathy. Y'all don't know what's going on. Y'all come on here playing investigator and bashing me on the internet. I would never in my life set my brother up. We ate together, broke bread together. This really my mother child. I don't got to explain nothing to nobody that don't know me. But for the ones who know me, know when you saw me, you saw Pop. We live in such an effed up society, y'all got to wake up. He went on to say, just know I got you forever, brother. The truth will come to light. Until then, sleep in peace. All right, fam. What y'all think? What's the verdict? A lot of people are uh, going in on dude. I personally suspect it was an inside job. I don't know uh, what their relationship was. I don't know if they was beefing. I definitely don't want to try to uh, put it out there that dude is responsible or anything like that. But you know how when a spouse is murdered and that significant other becomes the primary suspect immediately. It's just the kind of rule of thumb, you gotta at least rule it out. You gotta start off with the people that's closest to the person and try to rule it out, right? So you gotta rule it out. That's number one. Because I'm gonna tell you something. I know plenty of cases where dudes have killed their best friends. I'm talking about grew up together, spent the night at each other's houses, ate each other's mama's food, hugged and kissed each other's mother, done everything together. And they killed their best friend. So this is not really a rarity. It happens more often than most of us think it does. So I say they got to walk through this whole thing. They got to walk this thing down. And, and I think that uh, for the friend, I think Mike D, you know, if he really didn't have anything to do with it, you know, let the investigation play out. You know, talk to the people, be forthcoming. You know, talk to the investigators, be forthcoming. Uh, and, you know, if you can offer some information, you offer the information. If you got plans to go in there and handle it yourself, well, do what you think you got to do. But I can say through experience, I've seen it many, many, many times where best friends have killed their best friends. Hell, I've seen sisters kill brothers, and brothers kill sisters, and siblings kill each other. I've seen uh, children kill their parents. Parents kill their children. So, you got to investigate. And you got to let the investigation run its course. Got to go through the process. I hope like hell that dude didn't have anything to do with it. You tend to give a best friend the benefit of doubt. But I've seen some strange things happening in this world that we live in. So I wouldn't, if unless I had real information, like solid information, I wouldn't be throwing stuff out there like that, accusing that dude of killing his best friend. 
I think it's fair for people to speculate that it was an inside job just like I did. But unless you have proof, do not point the finger at a particular person because you can really, really ruin someone's life with a false accusation. We've seen it happen a whole lot recently, right? So let's be careful about what we put out there. R.I.P. Pop Smoke. No more talk. What the ladies talking about?